Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Traveling Sister, and today I'm going to do a video kind of responding to my last video, um, I guess a little sequence, and I actually wanted to clarify some things in this video. So, if you watched my last video, it was about things that I don't vibe with about living in Tanzania. And um, I just kind of want to clarify some things because I got a couple of messages and a couple comments and I guess a lot of people are under the impression that I don't like it here, which is totally not the case, okay? Um, and like I said in my first video, I want to give y'all the real, all right? Um, nothing in life is either all good or all bad. And you know, I'm just, I'm just here to give y'all a real standpoint, you know, um, of things that, like I said, I don't vibe with. I didn't necessarily mean that these things are wrong or, you know, just overall bad in any way, but yeah, I just, I just don't vibe with it. And I have to just be quite honest and say, even though these are things that I don't necessarily like about it, the good outweigh the bad tremendously, exponentially. Like, and I wouldn't be here if I felt completely uncomfortable. Yes, it is a completely new culture and a developing country. And I come from America, one of the most developed countries in the world, if not the most developed. And, um, it's it, obviously it's going to be a culture shock because of you know the differences and stuff but i don't i didn't want to give you guys the impression that i don't like it here because that's completely false um now what i will say is i feel that like okay a lot of people have asked me you know the ins and outs of living here and i feel like it is my duty as a black american woman um who lives in Africa, I feel like it's my duty to fulfill those answers to people. Because I know when I was um, looking to come out here, I wish that there were more black Americans who were living in other parts of Africa besides just Ghana, because I know there is a heavy population of African Americans in Ghana. Um, there's also um, a YouTube channel called African American in Africa. Um, I think she lives in Namibia. Yes, she lives in Namibia and she has a family and everything, you know, a husband and a child. But, um, you know, that that is also one part. And I did get a lot of good information from her video as well as, you know, she expressed the things that she didn't vibe with either. Um, and like I said, I feel like it's my duty to tell y'all. Like, I would never um, just put on one side of things. I would never just simply sit there and say everything is peachy keen and everything is ya 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 because I mean I'm I'm too real for that you know and I'm when I look at videos and stuff like that I look for the real you know um I look for the real and if like I said if it was if it was so bad here um I would just I would move I'm not a tree you know um I'm I can be mobile but I do, I like it here and something about Tanzania called my spirit because when I did the initial search of where in, where in Africa I wanted to live, something about Tanzania just gripped me and I don't believe it's just for no reason and um, it's, it's things that I am growing through, not, not only going through but growing through that are making me a better person, a better, a, a more well-rounded person. Yes, I have traveled a lot. I've been to 20 different countries and counting. Um, I'm planning my next big adventure soon, so that'll be 21. Um, but I've experienced a lot of different cultures, but Tanzania is something that I have not experienced before. And so, yes, obviously I get frustrated. Um, and I didn't want to make the video to discourage people. I just want to give y'all the real deal, honey. I'm not here to sugarcoat. I'm not here to um, make everything all sparkly and beautiful and act like my life is perfect here because if that's what you're looking for, then maybe, you know, I'm not the, I'm not the right carrier for the message. But, um, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to be clear that it's not that I don't like it here. I'm not bored. I haven't been bored one day since I've been here. It's a lot a lot going on 
even though it is a slower life pace right now. Right now, I'm actually in Dar es Salaam. Um, my, boyfriend are, my boyfriend and I are at our friend's house, and we've been here for about three weeks, and you know, just, just to switch it up, change the scenes and whatever. But um, yeah, it's, it's not that I get bored. It's not that um, I don't like the people here or anything like that. It's just, it's just different. And I'm 127.3% certain that if, you know, someone like yourself would uh, inter just completely thrust yourself and interject yourself into a new culture, one that is completely opposite of what you grew up in, of course, you're going to have gripes, okay? Um, unless you're just, I don't know, whatever, but... I'm maneuvering, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing it, I'm learning about myself. And I believe that when you put yourself in new situations, that allows you to see what you're really made of. You know what I'm saying? Because no one grows if they're always comfortable, period. Like, you know, you have to, just like working out, just like being in the gym, you know what I'm saying? Are you gonna stick to a certain set of weights like your whole, like, for a whole month or are you gonna try to progress you know what i'm saying you're gonna add extra weight to make you stronger so i that's kind of like what i look at this situation is as and even when i travel to different places that haven't encountered black people that um a culture that i'm completely unfamiliar with it's not only a learning experience for myself it's a learning experience for the people who i'm around too um you know a lot of them just haven't been around people like me. But um, I say all that to say, my last video was not, my last video was not me just sitting up here hating the place and you know, this and the third. Like I said, the positives far outweigh the negatives. And I just want y'all to know, I just want y'all to know the truth. That's what I'm here for. But yeah. Uh, just, you know, short, quick little video just to clarify some things. And I hope that you guys that um, were maybe inspired by my past videos are still inspired, you know? I just want y'all to know what to possibly look out for, things that maybe you might not vibe with, um, you know? But I, I hope that you're still inspired. And I, I really hope that y'all still want to visit one day because it really is an amazing place. Um, yeah, so that's that's really all I got. Um, love y'all. Peace, peace.